Hello fellow gamers and game devs. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I was gifted a game by a fellow indie game developer called Rise of the Village Hero. You can check out the developer's YouTube page here and the game's Steam page here. Both links will be down in the description. I played the game for just under three and a half hours, which I've condensed down here to about 25 minutes. If you're only interested in what I thought about the game and not about the gameplay itself, feel free to skip ahead. Without further ado, let's dive into the game. Here, Rise of the Village Hero is an indie RPG game inspired by the classics. Explore levels, uncover and complete quests through dialogue with NPCs. Find and receive equipment and treasures. Slay monsters to earn your title as the hero of Draboja. Title screen though, I like. I like that you've incorporated the sort of fire into the logo of the game that's happening uh, in the back of the castle there. It is, however, rather peaceful music, so I'm kind of getting a, a counterbalance of, you know, something really bad is happening within those walls. Let's see what we have as far as options go. All right, so left mouse button, move, attack, and interact. Um, I'm going into this uh, without really knowing anything about the game, so... Uh, with seeing the control, I'm going to assume it's kind of a, maybe a Diablo-style um, movement and attacking. Something I've always uh, read as far as when you're working on, on your game UI, uh, you definitely want to have volume control. Whether it be for, well, it should be for, for music and for sound. All right, let's go to a new game here. Enter text. I guess that's what I... That, be the name of my game. Uh, we'll just call it Save One. I don't know if that's the name of the game, if that's the name of my hero. Okay. See, I looted that person. I didn't see where it told me what I got. Let's see here. Inventory. Small stamina potion. Small health potion. Rusty sword. Let's put my sword in my sword hand. Uh, let's see. I guess put this in my action bar under one. That's good. Okay, I see an orc there, which would normally believe that I would attack, but he has a question mark, so maybe it's a quest. Yeah, I think definitely want to have some feedback as far as what you're picking up. Oh, I have a cutscene. I'm guessing that's just kind of showing me what's beyond the walls. I can talk to this orc here. Oh, he's a peacekeeper. Go away. Um, well, based on what I saw in the cutscene, I guess the orcs have inhabited this castle, so I will just tell him to... Put his sword where his mouth is. Oh, not his sword. He has bows. Okay. Oh. Okay, well this is... I 
don't think there was a block at all, so. Okay, it looks like they dropped nothing. Um. Okay. How do I go into the castle? Maybe I've gone the wrong way. No. Okay, must be something I have missed. Maybe there's a side door. Doesn't appear to be. Um... Uh, well, quests, okay. I don't think I can, no, no, I can move my camera, hold down right. Okay, there we go. Was that just a, maybe I just had to finagle my camera so that I could click beyond the wall, I guess that was it, okay. 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 I can at least use health potions while I'm attacking. I'm having a little trouble clicking them. Maybe I'm way too maybe too far away. Okay. Oh boy. I did not pick up the shield last time. Yeah, it does, does seem difficult to click on them. Maybe I'm just playing too far away. Let's try that. Huh. These are more health potions. Okay. I think that is definitely something that I would change if you could to have the quick bar reflect what's in your inventory and not as a separate uh, inventory space. Otherwise, you have to continually, if if you're going to keep picking up uh, stamina potions and health potions, to have to keep equipping them from your from your bars. I find that I'm not attacking a lot because it takes a lot of stamina. And I don't even have enough stamina to swing, so I just have to kind of run away. Okay, I remember... There were some knights somewhere. Let's see if this is the sword he wants. Go and grab all the stuff at the back. Oh, this is the same thing. Okay. We can find your father, Morel. Well, I hope I find him alive. Okay. Well, I have that, have that. I don't know that I want to spend all my money on... ...some stuff. Switch to selling. Okay, I can do that. Well, I can't use these daggers, so I'm going to try to sell two of them. Sell. All of these give the same defense. Uh, I will purchase a cap. Definitely like a purchasing ka or something. A little feedback to the player. Quick, knights, help me. Nope. Oh, and I got this sword... Two. When did I get these items? I don't remember ever picking them up, but maybe I just ran over them and didn't realize it. Oh, requirement strength of three. Requirement dexterity of three. Well, there's the reason why I can't equip these things, I guess. Um, so I have three points I can spend. 
So this really good sword requires a strength of three. Uh, well, let's just use all three of those points in strength. Let's confirm the allocation. Alright, what is this guy over here in the Chaos Pit? I am not welcome here. Okay. Well, I assumed the boss to be upstairs, but perhaps the boss is in here. Yeah, there's that, that pathing again. Those walls really make it... Uh, you know, I want to just kind of hold in my mouse button and go, or even or even click on the on the following floors, but... The walls are getting in my way. Uh, the Restless Corpse is talking. Can I help the Restless Corpse? Yes. <laughs> what do you need, Mr. Skeleton? His daughter is in the village. Oh no, I have found her father. Uh, I assume he gave me something. Yes, okay. Family heirloom. I have one one health potion. So it's not looking good. Um, oh, quick save. F2, I think. I'll save there, just in case. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, no. I hate these wizards. I can't even. Well, I could move my camera. That's my fault. I can't even. Can't even swing at him. <laughs> oh, I don't have any stamina. Oh, I was wondering where that little goblin went. But I'm still dead. Okay, unallocate points. I do have three more points to allocate, though. Do I have the daggers? I have daggers. I have a dagger. And a short weapon. Okay. Let's try... Requires dexterity 1 and dexterity 2. 1, 2. And I don't know what these do. Um, no idea what these do. Let's do a cunning. I don't know what... I don't know what it does for me. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Let's see. I've been told the creatures are now easier to hit. We'll find out. We can still ignore these guys at the gate here. I'm going to try to make sure that I am a little bit better equipped before venturing down into the dungeon. I think playing a lot of games like uh, Diablo... Um, Plank of wood. Uh, I'm not used to being able to to move the map around. You're kind of set set in that isometric view, and I think that's what I that's what I kind of looked at it as the, the first run through yesterday. Find the goblin merchant a rusty sword. I have a rusty sword. I'm already on the task. Perhaps the rusty sword needs to be in my inventory. Aha! I have the rusty sword. Thanks, here's your stuff. Okay, quest complete. What did he give me? He gave me a bow. Um... Seven damage with a range. Requirements none. Do I put that in my quick bar? No. There? No. How do I use... How do I use the bow? I don't know why I would go in any of these other slots, but... You'd think it would be a damage item. 
Do I right click it? No. Yeah, I did not talk to this person last time. Okay, small health potions are only 15 gold. Which is really cheap. So I want to buy... 10 of them. Because I'm going to need them. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing any of these villagers yesterday. I guess I didn't explore enough. An overall neat atmosphere, I think... I know I've seen it rain, I can hear the rain, but it's not... It doesn't seem... Doesn't, I don't see the rain now, even though it's supposed to be raining, I think. I have to be careful, because I know... Yeah, that guy over there. I guess sometimes being able to change your camera to something like this is is neat to be able to get a get a good view of what's going on. Oh, I see the rain. The rain is happening. The rain is happening in the last area I was at. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, let's see one more health potion, maybe two. All right, I'm gonna try to beat up this this boss here. Uh, fortunately, he has both a magic user and a bowman. So I have to take out the ranged first. Which is going to be a lot of health potions, I think. Because I don't know how to do it other than just tanking it. Okay, well... Uh, you know, honestly, I was really hoping he was going to give me more than that. Oh, and I've reached level 2. Didn't notice that either. That might have happened earlier, and I just failed to see it. Okay, again, I don't know what these other... Um, I don't know what these other stats do for me, so I'm going to save them until I know what they do. 20 damage, 22 damage. I think this sword is the best currently. Shaman Journal. Can't understand it. Bring it to the goblin. Maybe he'll give me a health potion. That would be kind of him. Nothing else in this room. I am very low on health. Oh, I hope this person has some, some potions. Hello, I would like to trade in your shop. Well, I certainly don't need any money. 200 gold, okay. Medium health potion. That sounds fantastic. I want all of them. Probably gonna buy as many of those as I can as well. All right, let me buy those. I'm gonna buy this armor. I'm gonna buy some boots. 40 damage and a strength of seven. I don't think I can do that. I like this 12.07 gold. And I want all of them. Alright, I'm going to try one more time. To get this bow. It, does, it just doesn't go anywhere. And again, requirements none. It was passed down to me. I can't put it in my quick bar. Maybe I need arrows, but I haven't seen anywhere where there are any arrows for sale. It's got a cool name. But not as good. I appreciate your sword. I'm going to go sell it. On to floor number two. Gold litters the floor. A new enemy. Don't know what this is. I have just as much trouble hitting it as I do a goblin. At least they drop small health potions. <laughs> Drink them all. Doesn't seem like I am losing nearly the amount of stamina that I was 
earlier. Okay, so I am I am losing the stamina, but it is coming back at a much higher rate. I almost well, not almost. I really wish that it came back at that rate towards the beginning of the game. Make these stamina potions maybe uh, not really as much a necessity. I dig the music. It definitely has a kind of a... I mean, it's got a good vibe for where I'm at, but I, I don't know. I wish there was maybe a little bit of variation to it. I mean, it sounds like orcs. Once I'm down here in the dungeon with, you know, I, I am still fighting orcs now, but you know, when there was the, uh, I don't know what they were, maybe some zombies and like the floating specter kind of things. Um, doesn't really fit them as well. Yeah, these stamina potions, I, I really, I don't even need anymore. Now, if I had not gone this way, I would not have gotten a quest to kill the cook. I'm curious if I had already killed the cook, whether the quest would complete or not. Oh, I'm more than what I want to. I could, not click, I could not click the cook. Continue. Uh, is this guy the orc boss? He's all by himself. Orc king. Hello, mortal. You're an ugly orc. Um, I'm here to give you what's yours. I don't know that I could really intimidate this guy. Maybe that's what the charisma does. I don't know. Sure, I'll tell him about all the other orcs I've killed. Okay, I don't look too great myself. Big talker. His axe needs blood. He rushes towards me in a fury. Okay, he doesn't move very fast. But he hits like a truck. I hit harder. Always quick save. Step on the rune. I am now... I guess a new area? I don't know. Can I read this sign? No. So I mentioned before, uh, I'm used to playing Diablo. And in Diablo, you basically button mash with the mouse in order to attack things. Uh, because I'm foolish and did not bother to read anything about the game before starting to play it, I did not realize that all I had to do was click an enemy, and by clicking the enemy, I would sort of just stand there and auto-attack. And if I want to attack a different enemy while I'm attacking the first, I can just click the other enemy and my attacks will switch to the other enemy. Most of my issue... Uh, when dealing with the combat in the earlier parts of the game was because I was trying to button match like I'm used to in order to attack things. Still have to basically tank with my face on the ranged enemies, though. It doesn't seem to... There's not really any... Not really any dodging or store, sort of mobility during combat. So what are my thoughts on Rise of the Village Hero? First off, it is a momentous feat for an indie dev, particularly a solo dev, to release a game even if it is just in the demo stages. I say demo, the game is in early access with only the first level being completed, along with that little connecting area that will go from chapter 1 to 2. A positive that many people might overlook is the game ran, the game never crashed, I didn't notice any glitches other than the potion exploit on the quick load, but the game seemed to do everything that it was supposed to do. When you think about it, 
There's a lot of AAA studios that can't even say that. I like the atmosphere. All of the uh, art seems to fit together. All the models either came from the same place or they have been utilized well enough that you have a cohesive look to the game and nothing appeared out of place or as though things were placeholders for, for other artwork. I know I mentioned the atmosphere while playing it. I liked the mood of the rain. Uh, it was a little jarring when it switched from rain to sunshine, I think, and vice versa once you hit that one gate. But other than that, it was a good feel, both in look and sound. The game definitely has a learning curve, at least in my experience. I went in thinking I was playing one type of game and not distancing myself from what I already know to learn this game. After I sort of got a better idea that I had to move my camera around once I figured out that I just had to click an enemy in order to attack them and not button mash, it got a little easier, a little better, and more fun. So it might be important for gamers like me that tend not to read everything to put maybe some pop-up windows at the beginning of the game. I don't think you need a full tutorial but maybe just a, just a quick little text block and maybe a graphic. You know, here's how you attack. Here's how you move your camera. Since those two things are fairly vital. A couple other quality of life additions that I think would really help out the game. The most important, I think, is player feedback. Little sounds like uh, when you're buying or selling things. Uh, you know, maybe a couple coins or a blip and definitely make it more evident when your player levels up. I completely missed the little healing plus signs that popped up, uh, at least for the first couple levels. But I think a flash or a definitely a sound effect of some kind. Audio options should probably be added in the, uh, in the options screen. Maybe a couple other graphical things. Some people tend to like to play in, in windowed mode. Two uh, menu changes. One, I would add a continue button after you die. I died a lot and I saw that screen a lot and my only options uh, were to start a new game or to go back to the main menu in order to then load the game. So I think a continue button there would be very good. Also maybe a quit without saving button to the menu uh, when you're in the game. So I put just under three and a half hours into this game. Yesterday was admittingly sort of frustrating, but I pushed through it, picked it back up, and today I got a lot more enjoyment out of it. I was actually looking forward to the next level, but then it wasn't there yet. It's a solid start from a developer who's passionate about his project. Does it need some polish? Sure but I'm looking forward to see what he does in the next stage of this game. So if you want to support this dev, hop over to the Steam page for Rise of the Village Hero. Thanks for watching, and remember to always carry a light into the darkness.